Alrighty then. Um, what this video is about is I have this old Backups 200. It's a small single computer uh, UPS. And uh, the other day I just opened it up and was looking at it and noticed that it had several uh, little pots on it that could be adjusted and uh, this one on this side says battery float and then there's one marked uh, let's see here frequency out V out and transfer voltage um, so I was surprised to find out that you can uh, adjust certain things about this uh, so one of the things I want to do is check what the uh, float voltage is since sealed, less, sealed lead acid batteries really work best with a certain float voltage and uh, so what I did was I looked up what the float voltage is for one of these and it said that it should be between 13.5 and 13.8 volts so I'm going to power this up and you would uh, by the way you would set this voltage with the battery disconnected if the battery is connected you'll get a completely different voltage reading so we'll turn it on here and you can see here possibly that the voltage is uh, 13.4 so what I'm going to do is we're just going to bump that up and I'm actually going to put this a little bit in the middle um, Normally I would set it to like maybe 13.5, but uh, from what I've read, these don't use a voltage regulator, and so your voltage will change based on your line voltage. And my line voltage can change anywhere from 115 all the way up to 125, so that could produce a bit of a change in the voltage. So that's a simple uh, adjustment. I'm, unfortunately I don't know what it was before because I had actually uh, first initially adjusted it with the battery connected and realized that that, that didn't work right. So I'm going to reposition and re-set up for adjusting the other side. So we'll be back in a second. Okay, we're back. Um, <clears throat> currently we are hooked up to mains. The battery is connected. Uh, you can see that the voltage it's putting out is 119 volts. Let me zoom in on that. should be able to see that that's 119 volts and that we've got a sine wave and just for the heck of it I'll pull power so you can see that this thing produces a modified square wave a modified whoops alright let's try that again I'm going to show you what the uh, s the waveform output of this is on battery and you'll see that it's a modified square wave or modified sine wave uh, it's not a pure sine wave and we have 75 volts output so excuse the beeping because this doesn't have a way to silence the beeps oh for god's sakes there hopefully this will cooperate long enough my little connections here so Excuse the beeping, we're going to adjust the voltage.
Interesting. Um, I need to change which uh, uh, multimeter I have. I think this one doesn't do RMS. Okay. This time I've got it hooked up to a DMM that does uh, RMS, true RMS. So let's adjust the voltage. And it's a little high, so we're going to bump that down. 110 is more than enough for uh, computers and such. Um, some computers probably can go as low as 100. And then there's the frequency, which is currently 60.32. And Theoretically, you could probably adjust this for 50 hertz. And my cat's about to have a fit because it really bugs him when this noise is played. That's good enough. So there you have it. That's all that you need to do to adjust a backup's UPS. I am not aware that if any of the other models have a uh, the same adjustments but uh, there you go later